Hello everyone, nice to see you again. I'm Jun. My name is Hair. This is my LinkedIn. Welcome to be friends. Here are some videos I made before. You may want to watch. This is related to test website and uh, App, um, mobile application use uh, Selenium and uh, Python. But uh, today I would like to introduce UFT testing. UFT automation testing. Mm, let's start it the summary of this video. This video is designed to test a website by building a test frame with data-driven UFT. From technical, you will see data-driven frame design. Ideal connection read the test data from Excel file. Update the test result source Excel file into Excel file. Benefit of using the library and the functions you will know. Also, I'm using AOM to start the test, to start running of script. This script is doing launch IE browser, open website, then get the login data, username and the password from the data set. Then verify return the message and save actual message and update data set from into the Excel file. Also I will save the screen share. For the login successful case, it will continue to perform other function. So the testing tools and the environment, I'm using UFT, VB script. I use the two VB ID. The browser is IE. Now let's go to the test data first. So I go to my D driver. I create this folder is the UFT project. Then there has a six folder. I save some common function under the library into this folder. I save object into this object folder. Then this folder is for the picture, for the screenshot. Now it is empty. This one is the source. That's meaning I will get the data and update the data. Now I open this file. Let's see there has six test cases we need to run. Then the username and the password is here. This is the expected result. This is the actual result. For these six cases, actually only one case will be logged in successfully. So after the user login successfully, it will calling this edit profile or the edit signature the Y, the indicator Y to perform this function separately. Let's say if the user do not log in successfully, even you put Y for the edit profile or other functions. 
the script will not to run this part. Okay, now we continue to see other folder. This protest case. This is the test cases. Test cases actually is the same. I open this file. So this uh, six case and this is the date. It's back the reader and uh, the actual test reader ID profile some functions. Now I close this one. This is the test run. The test run actually is uh, I mentioned before AOM. From here I open this file. We can read what inside. Yeah, here. It just to run the D driver this path. So you see D driver UFD project and the project test script. So yeah, this is the last folder I want to see test script. So all of the test script I saved into here. Now I open the UFD. Okay, I already opened the test script, this UFT test project. That meaning is this one, UST test project here. Then there has a um, function library. I want to see the function library in UFT, which is very important and very useful for the testing. I can define my some function or sub function in the library. Also, I can do some validation script in the library. Let's say I want to check the login, fail or pass. So I make this separate here. Okay, now. We let's say let's say uh, we see the first script is the run script. The run script it uh, just read the data source. So this is the read data source. Actually, it is from the library. So I click my library. We go to here, read data source. From here, I use the ADO connect to connect the source name. The source name is meaning the data file. We go to the run script again. Here is the data file. That's meaning the data source from the project source, this file. So the this is a variable in library in here, source name. After it connect to this file, then I use the record set to get the date from this file. I say that I so you can see I use do well not rs uf to read the data from one to six. And uh, from here, I get the data. This one is case ID, case ID. 
username, pin code is password, that's meaning expect the message here. Edit profile, this one. Then the edit signature, this one. Edit this one. So that um, if you get the first row, then it will go to the run login. Run login is this file. We open this one. Okay. So this one is uh, open the IE browser and uh, open the test website. This is also from the library here. I define, I declaim the variable name here, test web site. Now we go to login, we see. So if username we equal empty, if pin code not equal empty, if username not equal empty, then I will set the username and the pin code. That's meaning the password. So I give the cases here. If username not equal empty, then it perform set the username is one. So the password is empty. So it will not perform this this sentence. It go to next. Call the capture screenshot screen. Capture screenshot. Then we go to the library, find the, to see the cafe screenshot is there or not. Okay, we cannot find out the capture screenshot. So where it is save it? Hi guys, everyone see this sentence? Execute file. This is the path. So we go back to the frame folder. This one, common library, common function. This one. So that's meaning when you run all of test cases, all the script, it will run this. Execute this file first. So we use, we open this file. There has a open app. That's meaning the login open app. Call this one. Now we are talking about the capture screenshot. Capture screenshot is here. I use the case ID plus day, month, year, hour, minutes, second, or whatever you want to give a unique username. Then it will save to where? Screenshot path. I claim here, screenshot path. It will go to the D driver. Screenshot picture, yeah, here. Okay. Then the last step is check login. Check login, as I mentioned earlier, it is in library. Check login. So I use the logout. This is the uh, verif verify keyword. If this keyword is showing on the website, then it will update this table. This table. Actually, it updates the Excel file. Then it will say user is able to log in and the status is passed. Here is the command to execute. Yeah. So later, once we run 
this script to verify the result. Here will be show the keyword. User is able to log in. Okay, now we go back to login. Yeah, this is the check-in. Okay, the library, have you noticed the procedure indicator equal one? That's meaning only the user is logging successfully. The procedure equal one. From here, I write if procedure equal one, so it will run the user control panel. It go to the user control panel. Then if your edit is Y, your edit profile indicator is set to Y, so it will run the edit profile. For this demo, I just uh, click the edit profile, then the capture the screenshot. The second is edit signature equal Y. If this one edit signature is equal Y, so it will execute edit signature, this one. It's also, I just click the link, then cap it screenshot. Okay, so now you understand why these three keys or these five keys, even you put the Y for edit profile, edit signature, edit after, it won't to execute this part script because the procedure indicator from the check -in login function, login of this sub-function. You see, um, um, you cannot log in, so it will capture you cannot log in. The procedure is not defined here. Okay. Now everything is done. I close this one. This so we come from the picture is empty. The source data source we double come from H message is now test status is now. Then I close UFT. I close every functions from opened. Then we run the script at the launch IP, i.e. it opened the web site. It will from 1 to 6 to get the login data and perform the login function, verify return the messaging, and save actual messaging, and update the data set. Save screen. Then for the login successful case, it will continue to perform other functions. That's meaning added signature. signature. OK, now I close this file. This one also closed. Now I go to the process pro so pro test cases here. Yeah, so I double click this file to run the test case. Okay, now it is done. Yeah, username is one. 
password is empty. It click login. You cannot login without a password. Now the UFT is trying to save the result into the Excel. It takes a bit time. Now the second is standing. Username is empty, password is invalid. Then the actual result is you have specified an incorrect username, such like word. It was, it is trying to save the test result. Okay, then it started the second, the third, the third test cases. Oh, both username and password, both are empty. So we get the actual result is you cannot log in without a password. It's the same with the first case. You only input the username. Now the first is starting. Username and the invalid password. Okay, so it is a incorrect username. Okay, so this case also input an incorrect username. Yeah, so for such a case, in, during testing, we are meeting organ and organ, especially in the regression testing, or some fix done by developer. We need to retest this case again and again. So we use this way. Automation is very helpful. Now it is that uh, fifth. Okay, this time is incorrect password. That meaning input the correct username, invalid password. Just wait a moment. It save the result into the Excel file. Yes, currently the automation is very important in the project testing. It save time, save the people source. Yeah, in my current company, I use this uh, UFT to run my test script. It saved a lot of time. I can say three days. Okay, now it is the last test cases. 
it uh, looking successfully? You see, only these test cases, it will execute the user control panel and go to the ID profile, ID signature, etc. Okay, the, you see the UFT is stopped. Oh, it's running lower. Uh, we for moment. Okay, the UFT is stopped. Then we go to the test frame. We see the picture here. Yeah, you see this is the test case one. Enter username, password. Then the next feature is you cannot log in without a password. This is test case two. You only enter the password. So maybe it is better we compare with the test source here. Then you see this is the test case one. It marked test field. How come? Okay, we go back to see. You cannot log in without a password. Okay, expect is you can log in without a password. You cannot log in without the password. See the difference? Yeah, that's why the status is a fail. I marked this field because this is my expect result, this is my actual result, so I marked this test case field. But from the basic logic, it is, should be passed because I entered incorrect expect message, right? Yeah. Okay, so we go to the next case. Password is empty. Password is uh, one DJ. Username is empty. So the information they are same. Expect and actual. Compare is same. So I put pass. The third test cases. Okay. Empty, empty. So you get, you cannot log in without a password. So the test case is passed. Then the last one is, uh, we see the last one, six. This one is the six test cases. Username and password. Then I click here. This one user is able to log in. Remember in the script, I put the HR message is the user is able to log in. Then the test result is passed. So for this case, only successful login, it will perform according to the indicator. Edit the profile. This edit the profile. Then it uh, added the signature here yeah so that's a good that's the test cases and the test result to compare mm, okay now i open my test script again continue Okay, HP, UFT. Yeah, so this one I just use the traveled HP UFT. You can register, register your name 
and your email address and get 16 days for few try for free try it's very good okay now i open our project again Here is this. Okay, one more thing I want to say is regarding the object. Okay, you see I use this uh, respiratory collection to remove all and add the Object. Then the object I save to here. Object this one. You see this one is UFT property as on this one. Then we go to the each script to see the local. This logo, oh no, let me open again. I open one. Okay, so this one I have, I forgot to delete. This one. Yeah, you see this one is empty. Okay. We go to the edit signature. You see when the test script run this sentence, it will find the test object. So where it is save it, to save it from here, from this file. That's why the local is empty. Actually this one is the same. I just forgot to delete the local before running. This one also, local should be empty. Yeah, so the local is empty. Then we go to the library to see again. So the, the same, the same behavior, once the script is running, it will find the, the related object. It also from this TSR file. Yeah, so that's meaning um, we can put uh, all of object into one file for our projects. Then we just use this one for each test script. So it's very um, applied to each script. So it's very useful and save your time. Okay. Mm, today mm, is finished. That's all. Welcome. Give me some feedback and discuss the. If you have a good idea, you can share with me. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye bye.